and we take the shovel of faith. I said to you, get a spoon. He said, no, this is the shovel. Get it ready. Hallelujah. But how can he use this without faith? How can he demonstrate it without faith? If you can't use it, if you cannot use the small one, how are you going to use the big one? Hallelujah. So what we need is this. Praise the Lord. Once we have this, then we are good to go. Praise the Lord. It's like our, our, our objectives is to make sure that our life return to the very life which the Lord brought us into the world to be, to be fully a representative of the Father. So anywhere you are, go ahead, get ready. Are you on Facebook? Are you on YouTube? Are you, use, are you watching us through Rafa TV? So you just need a spoon. Go into your bedroom, get a spoon. Go into your, I mean, into your kitchen, get a spoon. And those of you that already place it in your altar, go into your bedroom or your altar, get it right now. Because I anointed it, I instructed you what to do. If you look at what I have, it's already anointed. For how many days we anointed it? Since last week. We've been using it and praying. I said, Father, here we are. We have no power on our own. We have no power on our, for our, ourselves. But with you, we can do all things. With the Lord, we can do all things. That's why we call it the shovel of faith. Praise the Lord. The enemy used the shovel to toss one life, to bury destiny, to bury potential people, to destroy life. But here we are using the physical thing to bring it back. When you are eating with a spoon, you know, you are eating, many people eat from the thirst bin. Instead of eating the right food, eating what God has ordained them to eat here on earth. But the enemy has scattered and turned life upside down. But we have got to use this and return it back. Today is the moment when we use it, we return our life back to normal. Whatever the enemy might have destroyed in your life, we return it in the name of Jesus Christ. So I want you to open your, uh, your, 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 your lips right now, begin to confess your sin. Remember that a prayer of a sinner is an abomination unto God. That's why the word of God declared that all have sinned and fashion of glory. So just open your lips right now, get your spoon, go to your altar, go to your, uh, 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 to your kitchen, get a spoon, get the oil, get the blood, which is the communion, and get the salt. And if you have not salted yours, it is time for you to salt it. If you have salted it, good. Then let us just pray, and the rest is going to be a testimony. Hallelujah. We instruct you what to do. Remember the word of God said in Psalm 32, verse 8. Say, I will instruct you and I will teach you in the way which thou shalt go. And not, and after that, I will guide you with my eyes. I will guide you. Hallelujah. I will guide you. So you need divine instruction. Now that you have got the revelation that they have turned your life upside down, it is time for you to revise back your life, revise and recover everything they took away from you. Everything they destroyed, it's time for you to return it. And those enemies that are dug, that dug grave and, and, and bury what belongs to you, now it is time for them to pay the price. The wickedness of the wicked has to go back to the wicked. Praise the Lord. The wickedness of the wicked has to go back to the wicked. So open your lips right now and begin to confess. We cannot do this without confession of sins. So go ahead and confess yourself right now. Praise the Lord. People of God, I will not let go until all that belongs to you come back to you. I will not let go until you are restored in totality. I will not let go until the enemy release back what belongs to you, what they took away from you, your marriage, your career, your finances, your health, your breakthrough, the life which the Father gave unto you must be restored. Hallelujah. So you stand with me to do this exercise and the rest is going to be a testimony in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Many are wondering, what are we doing? Are these people normal? Yes. The Father used the foolish things to show to the wise that they are, not, they are the foolish, claiming to be wise. Hallelujah. He used the best things to prove himself. Hence, this divine revelation. Praise the Lord. And they don't know. And what they know, they destroy. What they don't know, they call names. They don't know. And because they don't know, they don't know. And even if they think they know, they do not know because it was not given to them to know. Praise the Lord. But it was given to you. 
a chosen generation, a peculiar person whom the Lord had brought into the earth, become great. Praise the Lord. So it is well with you. The Lord bless you. I see so many people lifting the sword. I see many sacrifices they are trying to do right now. I see. But I want to tell you, the power of our Lord Jesus Christ, no one can contest, contend with him. No one can contest with him. He's greater than all. Praise the Lord. They are trying to stop you. You see, many are still sleeping. Many have forgotten. Please call your family members. Call your friends. Call your colleagues. Call your leaders. Call your people. Call them and tell them to join this prayer. It is for their good. Remember the, in Genesis chapter 6, the Bible said, and they were in singleness of heart. Father said, let us go and let us go down and disorganize them. Otherwise, they will get to us. When they were building the Tower of Bible, they were in unity. So let us be in unity as we demonstrate this. In the couple of minutes, we demonstrated it, and then we began to see the glory of the Father. Hallelujah. So it is well with you. Go ahead and confess us right now. If you are joining us, this is Midnight Prayer with Prophet Isaka using the shovel of faith. Hallelujah. The shovel of faith. Using the shovel of faith to bring back everything stolen from the children of God. Praise the Lord. Restoring destinies. Restoring career. Restoring finances. Restoring health. Restoring marriages. Amen. So get ready right now. The Lord is on the throne. Go ahead, bow down your head and confess your sin. Bow down your head, confess your sin. Bow down your head, begin to ask for remission of your sin. Ask for mercy. Continue to ask for mercy. Oh God, you have to concentrate tonight. You have to concentrate. Do not look at anybody. Do not allow yourself to be distracted. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Go on your knee right now. Bow down your head. God is not your equal. Go on your knee and say, Father, I bow down before you. I kneel down before thy throne of mercy. I ask for your mercy. Forgive my numerous sins. Forgive me, O Lord. Let not my sins stop me from receiving from you, O Lord. I come to you, a woeful sinner. I bow down before you, O Lord. I have sinned against the heaven and earth. I have sinned against myself. I have sinned against the land. I have sinned against my brothers and sisters. Oh, Holy Father, I bow down before you. I ask, oh Lord, that you forgive me. Father, cleanse me. Father, cleanse me. Father, purify me. Father, fortify me. Wash me completely. Wash me, oh Lord, from the inside to outside. Cleanse me and empower me, oh Lord. Empower me, oh Lord. Empower me, O Lord. Forgive me, O Holy Father. Forgive me. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. For the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost is on the throne right now. So go ahead and confess your sin. Father, I am a woeful sinner. I kneel before thy throne of mercy. I bow down before you, O Lord. I ask that you forgive my sins, O Lord. Cleanse me of every righteousness, purify and sanctify me in the name of Jesus Christ. Wash me completely from every sin I might have committed, known sins and unknown sins, in deed, in thought, in words, in action. Father, forgive me. Father, cleanse me. Father, wash me. Wash me with the precious blood of thy son, Jesus Christ. That blood that was shed at the cross of Calvary, that blood have no spot of sin. Father, wash me, wash me, cleanse me, wash me, purify me in the name of Jesus Christ, in the blood of Jesus Christ. People of God, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Continue to confess your sin. The Father is here, the Son is here. Father, I am a woeful sinner. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the blood of Jesus Christ. I wanted to repeat after me in the name of Jesus Christ, in the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, I come to you now and forevermore. I come to you, Holy Father. I kneel before the throne of mercy. I ask that you forgive me, O Lord. Forgive whatever sin I have committed 
nonsense and nonsense in deed, in thought, in words, in action, whichever way and manner, O oh Lord, I might have seen, knowingly and unknowingly. Father, forgive me. Father, cleanse me. Open your lips, confess your sin right now in your language, in your mother tongue. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Confess, O oh Lord. Confess. I mean, my people of God, confess, confess, confess. Confess for the Father is on the throne. The I am that I am is on the throne. The wonder working God is on the throne. Go ahead and confess your sin. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the blood of Jesus Christ. Even now and forevermore. Amen and amen. People of God, take your Bible or you repeat after me. You repeat after me. Have mercy upon me, O God. According to thy loving kindness. According unto the multitude of thy tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Therefore, against thee, the only, have I sinned, and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest, and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, I was sharpened in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desire truth in the inward part and in the hidden part. Thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Verse 7, purge me with high soap and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be watered as snow. Verse 8, make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones would not have broken may rejoice. Verse 9 of Psalm 51. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Verse 10, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. For thou desire not sacrifice, else would I give it. Thou delighted not in burnt offering. Verse 17, the sacrifice of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart, O God, thou will not despise. Verse 18, do good in thy good pleasure unto Zion. Build thou the walls of Jerusalem. Then shall thou be pleased with sacrifice of righteousness, with burnt offering, and whole burnt offering. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thy altar. Peace. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I hear the saints say, Amen and Amen. We are going to turn our Bible also to Psalm 32. Let us turn our Bible to Psalm 32. Quickly. Hallelujah. We're going to take it from one to the end. Then we pray. And the Lord will manifest himself. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven. In the name of Jesus Christ and the blood of Jesus Christ. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven whose sin is covered. Verse 2. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputed not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guilt. When I kept silence, my bone was cold through my rolling all day long. For day and night thy hand was heavy upon me. My master is turned into the drought of summer, Sarah. Verse 5. I acknowledge my sin unto thee, and my iniquity have I not hide. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord. And thou forget the iniquity of my sin. Verse 6, For this shall everyone that is godly pray unto thee, in a time when thou mothers be found. Surely in the flood of great waters, in the flood of great waters, they shall not come near unto thee. 
thou art my hidden place. Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. Sarah, I will instruct you, verse 8, and teach you in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with my eyes. Be you not as a horse, as a mole, which have no understanding, whose mouth must be held in with beard and bridle, lest they come near unto thee. Many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he that trusted in the Lord, mercy shall compass him about. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, O ye righteous, and shout for joy, O ye that are upright in heart. Peace. In the mighty name and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I hear you say, Amen. And Amen. I am a sinner. Father, wash me clean. Please go on your nails. I am a sinner. Holy Father, sanctify. Sanctify me. I am a sinner. Father, wash me clean. I am a sinner. O Lord, sanctify. Sanctify me. I am a sinner. Father, wash me clean. I am a sinner. Father, sanctify. Sanctify me, I am a sinner. Oh Lord, wash me clean. I am a sinner. My Father sanctifies me. The blood was shed, it was shed for we sinners. The blood was shed. It was shed for we sinners. The blood was shed. It was shed for we sinners. The blood was shed. It was shed for we sinners. I am a sinner. Father, wash me clean. I am a sinner, O oh Lord, sanctify me. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we worship. Now let us pray. Let thanks, honor, be given to thee, Father, in the name and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let thanks, honor, be given to thee, Lord, through the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let authority, power, supremacy, and beauty be ascribed unto thee. Holy Father, the creator of mankind, I am that I am, the Holy One of Israel, even now and forevermore, Amen. Holy, Holy, Holy Father who art in heaven, Father, we have knelt before thy throne of mercy. We are not worthy to stand before you because of our sinful nature, but now we kneel before you with a penitent heart. We come before you kneeling with our kneeling before thy throne of mercy with a penitent heart. We have confessed our sin and acknowledged that we are sinners. Father, forgive us. Father, thank you for forgiving us. Thank you for washing us completely. Thank you for cleansing us of every unrighteousness. Thank you for purifying and melting and molding us again to stand before you. Father, we return our praise and honor to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we have come to undo whatever the enemy might have done against our life. We have come to turn around all that the enemy have destroyed in our life. Remember, Father, you promised to send the carpenters of heaven to fix back whatever the horns of wickedness have destroyed. Father, this is the moment. Thank you, Father, for descending with abundance of the transcendental power from above, coming physically and spiritually, Father, to undo whatsoever the enemy have done against our life and to restore man to yourself to restart us to the original. Father, I will return our praise and honor to you in the name and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. You are the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Father, we bow down before you. Holy Father, we bow down before thee. Holy Father, we worship and honor you. 
Holy Father, wherever they might have gathered against this meeting, in the air, on the land, the sea, beneath the sea, anywhere they have gathered or planning to gather against this journey, against our demonstrating, against our walking with the shovel of faith this hour, against our anointing the ground, sorting the ground, releasing the blood on the ground, in order to undo whatsoever they have done against mankind, against our land, against our life, against our career, against our future, against our destiny. For the only way they have come together, anywhere they are standing at the junction, anywhere they are standing on the ground, Holy Father, I come before you. I lift up the cross of Christ and I decree, Lord, that their power, their plot and plan have been destroyed in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father, for this moment. Thank you, Father. Many are called, but few are chosen. Thank you for choosing us, Father, to do this work, to deliver our land, to deliver our nation, to deliver our people, to deliver our family, to deliver our friends, to deliver our job, to deliver careers, to deliver life, to deliver those in bondage, those in prison, those whose name are written in the book of death. Satan have written off, Satan have destroyed, but I to return them back to original. Father, we say thanks and honor be given to thee in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The omnipotent, omnipresent, omnipresent God, the hour is now. The same, O oh Lord, the same, Holy Father, the same that I am that I am, the same, Yahweh, the same, the same, the same, the same, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Melech, the same, the same, Holy Father, the same, the King of Kings, and the Lord of Lords. Come down with the fullness of thy power and touch every one of us. Touch us this hour. Touch us this hour. If it's sickness, they project into your life, into anyone's life. But as we use the shovel of faith to undo that, we undo, and that sickness will go back to sender. That this sickness will completely get out of that body. Whether it's blindness, whether it's deafness, whether it's broken bone, whether it's broken, whether it's whatsoever the enemy might have damaged in the life of my people. Father, heal them now. Oh, Jehovah Raphael, come down. Archangel Raphael, the angel that walked here with me, the hour is now. Come down. Come. That Archangel Michael, come down. Come down. I manifest right now. Manifest. Go to every home. Touch every soul under the sound of my voice. Touch them now. Touch them. Go to their house. Go to their city. Go to their villages. Go to the nations. Let the healing begin. Locate those things that have done. Archangel Michael, come with the sword of heaven. Go into any pit, any hole, any grave where they bury what belongs to my people. Go there, locate them now and bring them to the limb light. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Father. Yes, I can see the fire burning. I can see something is happening now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you for this moment. I commit, oh Lord, all your children into your hands. But I remember that whatever committed into your hands will never be destroyed. But I commit this ones into your hands. But I guide each and every one of us. Thank you for this divine revelation. Thank you for 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 divine revelation. Thank you, Father, for you lead us to the accurate knowledge of the truth. You lead and direct us and you guide us as we began this moment. Till the end of these three days and three nights. Father, as we carry out the shovel of faith, we demonstrate right now. We move into action to carry out the fast. Oh, Jehovah, guide and protect us. Be a lamb to our entire body. Be a lamb to our feet. Be our guide. Be our leader, Father. When you lead us, we will not stumble. But when we lead you, we will stumble. Father, lead us to the accurate knowledge of the truth. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you for coming by yourselves. Thank you for manifesting your strength and our weakness. And thank you for forgiving our sins. Thank you for the salvation of our souls. Thank you, Holy Father. Father, I commit all the instruments that we use tonight before you. Father, I purify them by the precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. I purify those instruments. I sanctify them. I wash them clean right now in the name and blood of Jesus Christ. Any contamination on these instruments, on the shovels, Father, I cleanse it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. We give you praise. Thank you, Holy Father. We give you praise. Father, as we put on the sackcloth, when David put sackcloth, 
Every council of Ahitophel was turned to plainness. But I use this, I use this father, this garment to cover your children anywhere they are. They will carry out this assignment and no evil shall befall them. Wherever they go, no evil shall befall them. No witch or wizard can see them. When they look at them, they will see them covered. They will see the blood of Jesus Christ. They will see our Lord Jesus Christ emanating in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I shelter them on this rainy day. I shelter them. I use the umbrella to shelter them. I use the mighty hand to cover them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, even those that, are, that will listen after now, those who join after now, those who will listen to this prayer after now, I also cover them. Beyond now, millions of years to come, they will listen to this message and they will know, Father, that this is a great assignment and revelation from you, O Holy Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. I also extend the covenant upon them. Whoever listen to this prayer, same time, same minute, let there be a revelation in his life. Let the life turn. Let there be a change. Let there be a restoration. Let there be healing. Let there be, story. Let there be a restoration. Let there be complete restoration of that person's soul, body, and spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father. We give you praise. In the name of the Lord of Jesus Christ. Wonder walking Father. I thank you for all that you have done for us. Thank you for opening our eyes of faith. Thank you for opening our ear to hear directly from you. Thank you for opening our intuitive perception. Thank you, Holy Father, for speaking to us. We are connected by faith into you, Holy Father. And no power can disconnect us. No spirit, no witch, no wizard can disconnect us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, and this material, this material, this shovel of faith, I connect to you. And as it has been connected to you, no power, no witch can pollute it. In the name of Jesus. Whenever we lift it up, Father, let miracle take place. Let science take place. Let the dead rise. Let the brokenhearted be restored. Let there be immediate healing. Anytime we lift it up, Father, let there be a sign and let there be a wonder. Let there be a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I use this one, this shovel, to connect to the shovel of faith that every of your children are having right now, those on Zoom, those on Facebook, those on YouTube, those that have connected everywhere in the world, and those that will connect beyond now. Father, I use this to connect to them. I connect to their shovel of faith. I also use this in conjunction, Father. I connect to them, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, as I've connected with all this material, oh, Holy Father, I bless their shovel. I bless their shovel of faith. I decree their faith in you will never, will never dwindle. We never backslide. They will never, ever lose faith. They will never lose faith. They will never lose faith. They will never lose faith. They will act in love at all times because you are loved. You are loved. You are loved. You are loved. Their hope can never be dashed. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father. We give you praise. Father, I bless all their materials. In the name of the Father, I bless all their materials. In the name of God the Son, I bless the shovel of faith. In the name of the Holy Spirit. And Lord, I lift up a sword of judgment against any power that will stand against these materials. Against this great assignment. Anywhere they look, they try to do it. Father, here is the sword. I lift up the sword of judgment against any power that will rise to contend with this program, with this assignment, with this divine assignment in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I lift the sword up against that power and I destroy that power no matter where they are. When they see this sword, Father, they shall bow in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, again, I lift up the spear. I take the spear and I lift it up. I pierce the bones and marrows, the bones, the power that will come to contend with this assignment. But as we dig it out, no power, I blind them and I decree they will never see. They will never monitor your children. Every monitoring spirit, every power assigned to monitor your children will never monitor them again. When they look, they will see our Lord Jesus Christ. When they look, they will see our Lord Jesus Christ. They will no longer see your children. Anyway, they call their name in any coven, in any altar, in any shrine, beneath the sea, they will no longer see your children. All that they have stolen, Father, Lord, we have recovered them all. And as we recover them tonight, I pierce their eyes and I decree they will never see. When they chant or pour the libation against your children, it will be useless, completely nothing and nothing in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father. For in Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. People of God, the hour has come. The hour is now. Anywhere you are, your material has been blessed. 
that material has been blessed. And I want to reassure you that the Father is already on the throne. So just open your list right now. Take your oil. Begin to anoint that spoon. Take your salt. Salt the spoon. Salt the shovel of faith. It's no longer spoon, but it's now the shovel of faith. Go ahead and salt it. 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 Continue to salt it. Continue to salt it. Continue to salt it. Salt it right now and right here. Go ahead and salt it. 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 Salt it for our God is on the throne. Salt it for our God is on the throne. Go ahead and sort it for our God is on the throne. Go ahead and sort it for our God is on the throne. Go ahead and sort it. Go ahead and sort it. Sort it, sort it, sort it, sort it. Go ahead and sort it. Go ahead and sort it. Go ahead and sort it. Now use the oil. Anoint it. Anoint it right now. Anoint it right now. Go ahead and anoint it. 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 Anoint it. Anoint it. Anoint it. Follow the instruction. Follow the instruction. Release that mountain on it. Take the shovel of faith. Take that spoon in your house. Anoint it right now. Anoint it right now. Anoint it right now. Anoint it right now. Salt it right now. And then take the blood. Take the blood and release the blood on it. Release the blood of Jesus Christ on it. People of God, whatever they have turned upside down in your life, today my God shall restore you. Today my God shall restore you. We are using the shovel of faith to prove to the enemies they can do nothing. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Salt, use the shovel. Yes, thank you, Father. Now, now begin to begin to begin to begin to use the salt, begin to use the anointing, the blood of Jesus Christ to, to anoint on it. Use the blood, use the blood, release the blood on it. Use the blood on it, use the blood on it, release the blood of Jesus Christ on it. Yes, 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 yes. You are charging it to become a weapon of destruction in the camp of the enemy and a weapon of restoration in your life, in your career. Charge it, charge it, charge it, charge it. You are no longer going to be ordinary. Whatever they have destroyed in your life, anyone that buried anything against you, you are holding the shovel of faith. There's no way they can succeed. Wherever they call your name in any coven, in any altar, in any shrine, my God will show himself in the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Lift it up right now. Lift it up and let me see. Let me see it. Let me see. I want to see it. I want to see the shovel of faith in your hand. I want to see it. Yes, yes. Lift it. Whether you are Zoom, whether you are Facebook, I want to see it. I want to see it. Thank you, Father. Yes. Just hold it like that. I want to look at it. Thank you, Father. Lift it, lift it, lift it, Father. Thank you. Yes. Yes, I can see it's charged. I can see that charged. Yes, lift it, lift it, lift it, lift it. Lift it, lift it, lift it, lift it. Thank you, Father. Say, for, say, Holy Father, I have charged this materials. I've anointed it. It has become in my hand an instrument of destruction in the camp of the enemies. In the camp of my enemies, it has become an instrument of destruction in the camp of my enemies. And it has become an, an instrument of restoration in my life and my family. Say, Father, this is my shovel. Whatever pit they have dug for me, any time I use this shovel, from beginning from this moment as I use it, Father, I undo whatever they have done. Salt have no enemy. Water have no enemy. The precious blood of Jesus Christ has been released on it. That goes with water. Holy Father, whoever drink water, whoever eat salt, whoever eat oil, can never do evil against me and succeed. Any instrument they use against me, whether they use bullet, whether they use gun, whoever manufacture it, eat salt, drink water, and eat oil. Father, any time they do those things, it can never hurt me. No bullet will destroy me. No bullet, no firearm, no instrument of death, no bomb can touch me. No arrows of the enemy can touch me. Not even the word of the enemies can touch me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, because my instrument is charged, 
I have charged this shovel of faith. People of God, I want to remind you, what you're holding in your hand is no more ordinary spoon. Those that are joining us, quickly get a spoon from your kitchen. Get a spoon from your kitchen right now. Get a, get a spoon from your kitchen. Go ahead, get it. Go ahead and get it. Get a spoon, a spoon from your kitchen. And as you get the spoon, you salt it. As you salt it, people are going to listen. You salt it, it's no more ordinary spoon. It has become an instrument of destruction in the camp of your enemies. An instrument of peace, instrument of joy. A weapon of restoration in your life. No power of the enemy can stand against it. No which I guarantee you, people of God, if they like, let them try it now. What you're holding in your hand is dangerous. Anyone that eats what eats salt, eat oil, drink water, can never harm you. Any way they plan against you, they cannot succeed. Because what you're holding in your hand is enough. For the father asked in the book of Exodus, he asked Moses, what do you have in your hand? He said, it's enough. Now I want, I have given you a weapon that you are going to use forever. Your generation will use it. Your children will use it. Your children, children will use it. Generation after generation will use it. People of God, there's no one that can dig a grave without a, without a shovel. Anyone who is digging a grave for you uses a shovel. And right now with what you have in your hand, you use it to revise what they have done, to turn it upside down. And those that dig a grave for you, that grave, they will go into it. That pit, they will go into it. There's no one, whether it's your family member, whether it's your mother, whether it's your father, whether it's your brother, whether it's your sister, I don't care who the person is. Because whoever dug a grave for you do not want you to live. Praise the Lord. And that is why when I got this revelation of the shovel of faith, I took it serious. I prayed a couple of times before I used it. I prayed a couple of times, many times before I brought it out. I prayed and prayed and prayed and asked the Father, what do I do? How do I go about this? People of God, right now and right here, you are secured. When I looked into the supernatural, into the realm of the spirit, I saw a lot of things happening. I was shocked what I saw. People of God, right now, they will be afraid of you. They try to turn your life upside down, but it is over. Praise the Lord. They dig a grave. They use the shovel to dig a grave. And now you are going to dig the grave and then recover what they have buried. Let me tell you this. There is a brother is listening to me. He's on, right now on, on Facebook. That brother is not here. He had a revelation on Sunday. He never joined us on Facebook. He never joined on Zoom. But on Sunday night, listen to me, on Sunday night he had a dream. He said in that dream, he was moving and he saw a place. They buried his money. He saw money. And that money was buried inside the, inside the hole. And he began to he take a shovel. He don't know how he got the shovel. He began to dig the money. He began to, the more he dig, he packed the money, he was packing. First, he saw coin. Because what they do, they bury the right money in the ground and they bring the useless money in your hand. Then he saw the coin, he began to follow, he began to dig, he began to pack. He said, anyone, I'm going to pack them. When he was doing that, then he saw a hole, he began to dig the hole. He began to dig the hole. He began to dig, now he saw a box buried with money. And somebody passed, a small kid passed, and said, this is your money. He said, yes, I'm packing it. He said, this is the money. So when he was digging, when he was doing that, then another person come, a man come, and he know the man, because remember, they use familiar face. They use familiar face. That's why they are called familiar spirit. I have been teaching you a lot of things. They, call, they are called familiar spirit. They use a familiar face. You think, ah, it's my brother, it's my sister, it's my friend who we worship together in the church. They are not your friend. They are not your friend. They disguise themselves. Praise the Lord. They disguise themselves to walk. Praise the Lord. So when he was digging, now he dug out the box, he dug everything, then he carried the, the money. And then he, began, he, he opened his eyes to wake up. He said he was shocked. He was shocked to see exactly what he dreamt in the, in the church. He said he was shocked. Praise the Lord. This brother doesn't use Facebook. He doesn't go to Facebook, but now he has connected to Facebook. <laughs> He's on Facebook. His name is Ekene. 
Remember the brother that died, and when he died, then the Lord used us to restore his life. That was delivered in the church. His deliverance has over 10 million viewers or 15 million viewers in the, in the YouTube and Facebook. It's there. You can go and watch it. It's real. So it's the same brother who had this dream. It's the same brother who has this dream. He called me yesterday to say that, no, yesterday, today, today. He said, Daddy, I was calling you yesterday morning to tell you what I dreamt, but you didn't pick your phone. I guess you are getting too ready for the service. So, and after service, I tried to call you, but I couldn't get you, so I call you now. I say, yes, tell me the dream. Then he explained everything. Praise the Lord. So what you are doing right now is a serious assignment. So this spoon, please keep it well. It's no more spoon. It's not a shovel of faith because when they dig those things, you take your, your spoon, you begin to eat. You are eating now rubbish. You are eating dead things. Because they have used the shovel to dig. They go to the grave and dig. They go everywhere and do a lot of evil. The reason why they use spoon, because they know you use spoon to eat every day. So they will say, the moment you put a spoon in your mouth, you are eating. You are not eating the evil. You see sickness? Problems here and there. My people of God, thank God for this revelation. We are now using this instrument to undo whatever they have done. You saw in the church yesterday when I lifted it up, what happened? And uh, the eyes was open. Some even saw themselves under the water. When they were baby, a lot of things happened. Today, a lot of things are going to happen in your life because we're about to cross into, oh, it's already 12. So our fasting has begun. Thank God that we, we did it well. So lift it up. Lift the shovel of faith. Lift it up. Lift it, lift it up, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, I connect this shovel of faith to the one they are holding in their hand in their fire, various houses, nations, country, continent. Father, I connect this to them. And Father, I hold thy word in conjunction with this. And I decree as your word attached to it, no power, no witch, no wizard can contend with it. Father, I have empowered their shovel of faith. And I release it to go and undead. I hand it over to angels. Archangel Michael, go with a weapon of war. Locate the pit where they buried my people. They buried their blessing, their career, their destiny. They buried what belongs to them and dig it out and return it back to them in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Father, I connect to their shovel. I connect to their shovel. Father, faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Father, their faith can never go down. Their faith in you shall remain strong. Father, and as I use this material today, as they use it, let thy power come down from heaven and undo whatever the enemy have, buried, have done into their life. Dig every pit, every grave where they bury what belongs to my people, their destiny, their names, their futures, and all that belongs to them and restore back to your children. And whatsoever they have done, O oh Lord, as the trumpets sound right now, Father, let the power come down. Let the power come down. Let thy light shine in every home. Let them dream dreams. Let them go into the supernatural, Father, and show them exactly what was buried, exactly what was done, and undo them permanently in the name of Jesus Christ. Let their health be restored. Let their finances be restored. Let their business be restored. Let their finances be restored. Let protection be restored upon your children. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father. I consecrate this shovel of faith in the name of God the Father. I consecrate this shovel of faith in the name of God the Son. I consecrate this shovel of faith in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Father, this is the weapon of destruction in the camp of our enemies. In the hands of our enemies. And the weapon of restoration in our life. In our family. In our ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father, for in Jesus Christ, mighty name, we pray. And I hear you say amen and amen. People of God, breathe into it. Breathe. In the name of the Father, breathe again. In the name of God's Son, breathe again. In the name of God, the Holy Spirit, you have breathed into it. It's no more ordinary. It has become a living being. People of God, this is no more ordinary thing. Some of you might have a dream that will terrify you. 
that he saw the shovel get up and began to move, began to walk. Please don't be surprised, don't be shocked, because something has happened in the name of Jesus Christ. You have moved life into it. Praise the Lord. So you keep it well, hold it well. Even when you are trying, I know you have anointed it with oil, with what, with the blood, with the communion, and with the salt. You have sorted it. So you have charged it. Praise the Lord. There is no one that can pour libation. There is no one that can use gray, a shovel to dig a grave for you, to dig a hole, to bury anything against you. Even if they go get any firearm, what do I mean by that? Any bullet, any gun, any kind of instrument, it cannot work on you. Hallelujah. It cannot work. It cannot work. People of God, that is iron. I want to tell you something. Touch it. Touch it with your right hand. Touch it with your right hand. Hit it. Hit it with your right hand. And touch that right hand on your chest. Say, I'm indestructible. <laughs> Hallelujah. You have now become indestructible. No bullet will enter your body. No firearm will enter your body. No assassin will see you. If they delegate anyone to assassinate you, they will never see you. If they send anyone to monitor you, all those monitoring spirits, they will look, they will never see you. Because right now, you are going to dig the dust from the ground and you are going to blind them. <laughs> you know what I hear? They say, please don't do this to us. But it's already too late. It's already too late to cry when the head is off. Praise the Lord. Say, Father, as I dig the ground right now and carry the dust, I blind every monitoring spirit assigned to monitor my life. People of God, I want to tell you this. The worst spirit that is destroying man is the monitoring spirit. They monitor, they tell a guide, they follow, they monitor, they watch what you are doing. He said, we watch them. They watch. Monitoring spirit, very dangerous. And the monitoring spirit doesn't have any boundary. Wherever you go, because they project them to the sun. As soon as the sun shines, they locate the person. As soon as the sun shines, they project to the sun, they project to the moon. They project it to the star. So when they project it during the night, they can see. During the uh, uh, day, they can see. So where do you go? Praise the Lord. They begin to monitor. But right now, they do not, they will never see you again. Say in the name of Jesus Christ, because this is the first power we, got, we have got to destroy. The monitoring spirit. If you submit documents, they follow the documents. If you do anything, they follow. And then when they follow, they go and report it to their coven. They go to their place of meeting to report it. Just as the angel report whatever you do every day, so also they report to Satan. They report to their agent, to their to, 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 to their, 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 their camp. They carry the news to their camp to go and report. Do you know that everything you do on daily basis is reported to God? This is one thing I want to let you know. Everything you do every day, if you drink water, is reported. If you eat oil, it's reported. If you eat salt, it's reported. Just be mom, daddy, take your life serious. Stop whatever you're doing. Listen. Whatever you do is reported. Anything you do is reported. Whatever you do every day is reported. If you drink water, it's reported. If you eat, it's reported. If you go and have a meeting with somebody, they go and cause problems, they report. That's monitoring spirit. That's monitoring spirit. And they will try to confuse you because when they create confusion in you, nothing works. And there are people, powers, that are very dangerous. They're very dangerous. Monitoring spirit. Like we follow them. Anyway, where can you go? If you enter plane, they follow. You go by ship, they are there. You drive, they are there. Monitoring spirit. Because they want to monitor you and report to their boss what you are doing, what you have done, how you have done it. So, but from now, they will never see you again in the name of Jesus Christ. Can I get a name to that? So, right now, you're going to stop them. You're going to blind them. You're going to release blindness to them so that they see you no more. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, everyone have to stand on your feet. You take the shovel.
you are going to take the dust from the ground and you're going to blind them. From now, they will never see you again. They will never go back to go and plot evil against you. They will never monitor you again. When you go anywhere, they will not see you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, now and forevermore. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I dig the ground with my shovel of faith. Dig it. Carry it up. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the blood of Jesus Christ, I release this dust into the eyes of every monitoring spirit assigned to monitor my life, village idol, spiritual husband, spiritual wife, ancestral powers, powers from the land. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release dust onto them. Release it, throw it away. From your left to the right, throw it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Once is enough, only once. You don't do it twice. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Lord, I stand and I hold this shovel of faith. I blind every monetary spirit. Every monetary spirit assigned to monitor my life, my ministry, my career. Assigned to monitor your children, their ministry, their career, their future, their destiny. Their unborn children, I blind them. Father, when they try to look at us, they will never see us again. Father, I blind them behind. Oh, Lord. When we go forward, they will never see us. Anywhere we go, they will never see us. Forward ever in our life. Because the monitoring spirit has been destroyed. They will never see us again. Every power assigned to monitor our life, career, features, ministry, and our business and businesses, they will never, no longer see us. Our marriage, in the name and blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father. For in Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Now return your shovel. Because these are the first people you have to blind. And I want you to do this exercise. We have done it now. We are going to do it on the last day of this journey. This of the two hours. Praise the Lord. And I want to commission you that once every week, remember this. Take your shovel of faith and say, Father, wherever they will try to rearrange, to realign themselves, to gang up again, I blind them. They will never see me. Please do this. When our Lord Jesus Christ said, pray continually, pray in season and out of season, he knows that always they gang up, always they try. They try different ways. Different ways. But you are not serious with your life. I want you to be serious. More serious. Because the people that are monitoring, the people that are after you, they are so deadly. And that's why our Lord Jesus Christ said, do this continually. Even the communion we take. He said, do it continually. He said, partake my flesh and drink my blood as often as you can. In remembrance of me. He mean, do it continually. People of God. So from time, first day of the week, you take the shovel, you release it. First day of the month, you take the shovel and release it. Last day of the month, you take the shovel and release it. The reason why you do this is because they, when they, they cannot do you anything until they assign power to monitor you. They investigate. You see the investigation. It begins in the realm of the spirit. They begin in the realm of the spirit. And they call it, you know, some other people call it remote view. They view you remotely. There are millions away, millions away, they begin to view. They put the water, some they use water, some they use glass, some they use mirror. They use all manner of instrument to monitor. As soon as the, 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 the agent returns the message, they say, okay, they monitor. They want to see where you are. They see all the movement. Praise the Lord. They see all the movement. And then they, they strike. But from today, anytime they use any instrument, they will no longer see you. In the name of Jesus Christ. They will no longer see you. By my word. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. So I've empowered you to do that. I remember a sister that called me one day. The husband come and tell her that no one can ever destroy you except otherwise you will destroy Prophet Isaka and TB Joshua. But as long as these people are there, no one can take your life. Because they've tried many ways. They took her name everywhere. They sent assassins to assassinate her. They could not. They took her name everywhere. They could not. They could not achieve anything. 
And this is what the report I get every day. So from this day, they look at you, they will no longer see you. When they look, what they will see is the cross. They will see Christ. As soon as they invoke your name, your children, they see Christ. And listen, people of God, you know what they do? Let me tell you this. When they try, they can't get you. They go to the children. They can't get the children. They go to the mother. They go to your mother, father, relations, relatives, even the boss in your office. They are trying who they can use in order to get you. Imagine a friend, somebody that is so good, you are eating together, you are dancing together. You cannot eat without that person. If you are eating and that person is not around, you have to keep some food for the person. They will enter that person in order to turn against you, to use him against you. That's why our Lord Jesus Christ said, the worst enemy of man is from the household. The worst enemy of man is from the household. Look at Joseph. Which people sold him? Family. Is it a distant people? No. Look at even Moses. Who did they use against Moses? His own blood. His own blood. People of God, enemies of household. Household wickedness. But now that we have used the shovel of faith, they will no longer have power over you in the name of Jesus Christ. Because these are the worst enemy you can deal with. You doubt them, doubt them. You, can, you trust them. You have confidence in them. You stay in the same house with them. You eat the same plate. You tell them the secret of your life. They are the one used. But from this day, they will no longer succeed in the name of Jesus Christ. They will no longer use them in the name of blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. People of God, that's number one assignment. Because monetary spirit is one of the worst spirits. They use the family member to monitor. They use all manner of instruments to monitor but never again on you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I've come at you with the garment of faith. And never again. I remember my father in the Lord, of Lord, Joshua, when he was using the first bracelet. First bracelet, we started using many years, uncountable years. But the father said to him, bring out first bracelet. Bring it, give it to the people, let them use it. And their life will change. People of God, always, your faith is very important. That's our Lord Jesus Christ say, if you have faith like a grain of mustard seed, you can command a mountain to move, and the mountain will move in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, the second thing, you have to use the, the shovel. The second part of it, you have to use the shovel. People of God, something has happened. This is number one assignment to destroy the monitoring spirit, to blind them so that they don't see you again. They, when they don't see your movement, that's all. People of God, I want to tell you this before we use this. Now, listen. Listen to me. I was conducting a deliverance in Shekana Glorious Industry, I think 2000, the year 2011. Get about 2011. Hear me? 2011 or 2010. A brother came to the church, and while we are praying, the demon came out. You know what the demon said? He said, we've been monitoring you. We've been monitoring you. We've been following you everywhere you go. You have a son. Even that boy will try. You, you know, he said, they know my house where I live. He said, why is it that you left in the backyard? You don't use the front door. We put everything in the front door in order to get you, but we can't get you. We put in the front door of your house. When you come, you don't use that front door. You use the back door. You use the, and the back door, you don't lock it. You just push it to enter. Can you imagine? That at the junction where I pass, all the corners, they put their things on the corner in order to somersault the car, in order to cause an accident. Even when they push another car to come and hit me, the car cannot get me. They put, people of God, can you imagine? This is the only thing. People start shaking. People start shaking in the church. They say, and they say, okay, when they come to my house, they try everything to see me, but as soon as I enter the house, I vanish. They can't see me. Can you imagine that? That's me. Now I tell you this. My father and the Lord blessed, of the blessed memory, son of Abedini Joshua, he will sit like this. All of a sudden, he just get up and begin to run to the prayer mountain. He ran. Every time he's on prayer mountain, he will say, come, 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 let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Now look at the mom, our mother right now, Pastor Evelyn Joshua. Do you think she's in the church? Always in the prayer mountain. Why? She cover herself. She wants a place to hide. Because every day, every minute, her life is in danger. 
And this is what we are trying to communicate with you, that your life is in danger. Take your life serious. The world is wicked. We have read it in the scripture. The father looked down from heaven, Genesis, Genesis 6 and 5. He looked down from heaven. He said the world is very wicked. The world is very wicked and evil continually. Evil continually. He said, let us go. Evil continually. People of God, please take your life serious. I join you in the name of the living God. Take your life serious. This shovel, this shovel you have, never you play with it. I know they will do everything. Like now, as I'm, talk, as I'm looking, I saw them take a spoon and they are bending it. They are bending it. They are bending it. They are bending it. But they cannot try. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. That one is gone. Yeah. People of God, this is real. I am not playing with you. They take this, they take a shovel, they will they they, they try to now listen. They will never get you again in the name of Jesus Christ. And they will never take that shovel you have. That's a shovel of faith. That's a shovel of faith. Now listen, now you take the shovel, the same shovel, you are going to dig out anything they buried against you. Whatsoever they bury against you, you have to dig it out from the grave, from the sea, from beneath the sea, from ocean, anywhere they bury it on the rock, beneath your house where you live. Whatsoever they bury there, on the roof, whatever they planted, you're going to dig it on the ground, and you, you say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, all eyes closed. Right now, all eyes closed. All eyes closed. All eyes closed. Because you cannot see this with the physical eyes. You cannot see this with physical eyes. Now, all eyes closed. Say, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, of Nazareth, Lord, as I dig the ground, show me what they have buried against me. Show me the evil they have done against me. Show me where my star is buried. Show me where the buried things that are working against me. Show me, oh Lord, where they have done anything against my family, against my spiritual life, against my faith in you, against my confidence in you. Father, show me. Show me. Now all eyes closed. Show me, Father. Yes. Yes. I can see them now. Yes. Move. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. All eyes closed. All eyes closed. Ask him to show you. Speak in your language, your mother tongue. You don't necessarily have to speak in English. Speak in your mother tongue. In your mother tongue. Yes. Thank you, Lord. 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 Now take the shovel. Take the shovel. Take the shovel. I know you can see it. Now bend it. Bend it. Yes. Now dig it. Dig those things out. Dig it. Dig your this. Dig it. Remove that coffin. Remove that coffin. Remove them under the sea. Put them out. Put them out. Expose them. Expose them. Expose them. Pull out. Continue to dig it. Continue to dig out all the things that buried against you. In your village, your mother's side, in your father's side, wherever your business partner has buried, wherever they buried it, dig it out. Begin to dig it out. 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 Continue to dig it. As you're digging it and you're exposing it, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Dig it strongly. You can dig it with a two hand, dig it with a two hand. You can dig it with one hand, it's up to you. Dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. Please be serious. Please be serious. Please be serious. Dig it out in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Dig out your children. Dig out your wealth. Dig out, dig out, dig out, dig out. Anything they buried against you. Is it your wealth? Is it your health? Is it your home? Is it your life? Whatever they buried against you. Anything that buried against me, against my ministry, against the Canada Growth Center, against LCP, against my against my companies, but I went with to win, and all my all that belongs to me, all my belongs to me. Whatever they bury against my partner, my prayer partners, my members, yes, I dig it out in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Every demonic burial ground, wherever they buried it in the grave, on the ocean, in their in their altars, I dig it out. I dig it out, I dig it out, I dig it out. In the name of Jesus Christ, continue, 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 continue. Continue, continue, continue. Dig it out. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 
In the name of Jesus Christ, continue, 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 continue. Anywhere they're finding it. In the name of Jesus Christ, dig it out, dig it out, dig it out, dig it out. In Jesus Christ, mighty name, we pray. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Something is happening. All that belongs to you have been released. All that belongs to you have been exposed. Everything they have done against you have been exposed. They will no longer stand. Any case they brought against you, anything they have done, my God have adored them in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, people of God, say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, whatever pit they've dug for me, Father, let them fall into that pit. All the evil they have done, Father, I revise it back to sender in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let every unfriendly friend in my life be exposed. Just as I can expose whatever they have done against me, let them make a mistake that will expose them. Let them open their mouth and say exactly what they have done, no matter where they are, no matter the level, no matter the office of operation, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Holy Father. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Now, hold your shovel on your left hand and lift your right hand. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we have dig out, we have undone whatever they have done against us. Every pit they dug for us, every grave. Father, we have undone what they have done. We have pulled our name from that grave. We have pulled our name from the register of setters. We have removed our business, our careers from the grave. Our members, members of our family, our brothers and sisters, those things they tie, those things they have done, we have released ourselves from it. Even those that have made their life useless, they can't pray. Always in constant battle with us, they will no longer do it. The evil that turned their heart against us have been destroyed, have been exposed in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Father, as we lift our hands in one accord, we take the, the, the instrument, we go out and anoint the ground. Father, that which I've dug out, that which I've dug out, as we release the blood and salt and what and the blood of Jesus Christ on it, the salt and oil, they are permanently destroyed. They will no longer have effects on us, effects on our ministry, effects on our family, effects on our finances, effects on our health, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I will decree by these 72 hours, wherever we go, whatever we touch, Father, shall be successful. Favor shall follow us. All round favor. All round favor. All round favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. We give you praise. We honor and magnify your name above all things in life. Father, we have used the shovel of faith. Our faith in you remains continually. Our faith in you becomes stronger and stronger every day. You have shown us the way to succeed the way to triumph over the enemy, the way to overtake them, even those who become before us. And that light will shine. We have greater light to walk during the day and greater light to walk in the night. We never walk in darkness. We will never stumble in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. I bless the hands of your children. Anything they do, anytime they use their hand to do this way, to perform, they will never receive any harm. No power will harm them. No evil shall befall them. I bless them. I bless them. I bless them. I empower you this day to be great, to be a giant in the kingdom of God and the kingdom of to be a destroyer in the kingdom of darkness as a giant of God, be a destroyer in the kingdom of darkness. Anywhere you appear, light will appear and darkness will submit in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus Christ, mighty name we pray. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. People of God, congratulations. Congratulations. You have shoveled out everything that belongs to you and you have destroyed them in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. People of God, what you have done, no power can undo it. No witch, no wizard. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Congratulations. Congratulations. Once again, congratulations. It is done.